Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Soroki, and thank you for tuning in to my Pecha Kucha. Although we don't get to see the presentations in person this year, I hope from this presentation you still get a sense of who I am and how my art career began. I know you can't see me presenting, so just to give you a mental picture of who's talking, I wanted to share a little bit about myself. I'm from Centerville, Ohio, which is about 30 minutes from Dayton if you know anything about Ohio geography. That's in the southwest corner, which I marked here on the map. So how did I end up in Iowa? To make a long story short, I visited Iowa State on a whim because I have family friends that live here, but then I loved the design program and decided this school was the best fit for me. Some fun facts about me are that I love small versions of things, like mini mugs or tiny animal figurines. I have probably 20 succulents on my windowsill, and my favorite color is royal blue. As an artist, I feel a tangible connection to the tools and objects that I interact with every day. I have a subconscious tendency to look for the bright side in what I see, whether that's a silver lining to a problem, or something as simple as the illusion of a face made from the buttons on a blender. My work often highlights the life experiences that we have so often we forget to notice the details. While the images I depict are mostly drawn from my own life, the viewer can make connections to places they've been or things they've done. In this way, they can begin to pick up on the importance of finding the little things in a culture that is driven by the big picture. This picture is my dad and I, mostly my dad, carving a pumpkin for Halloween. I was probably three years old here. Growing up, I was always interested in crafts and had a large supply bin full of pom-poms, pipe cleaners, paint pens, construction paper, stamps, stickers. You get the point. When I wasn't running around outside with my neighborhood friends, I was often in my room drawing and crafting. So I'm sure a few of you already recognize this book or book series, or read them when you were in elementary and middle school. These books were probably what got me most interested in art. I loved the painting style of the artist who painted each cover, and my friends and I who read the books would create our own characters and draw them frequently. This led to a lot of cat drawings, and I was known as the girl who draws cats all the time by people in my grade until I got to high school. Once I started high school, I distanced myself from the cat drawing persona that I used to have and started making art of other subjects that I enjoyed and cared about, like art of song lyrics that I liked or internet personalities that I watched. This painting I made junior year because Tangled was my favorite movie. When I finished it, I was so impressed with myself that I began to genuinely consider pursuing art as a career. Before then, I hadn't been sure of what I wanted to do with my life and what degree to pick in college. All I knew was that I wanted to love what I was doing every day. I learned so much during my freshman year here at Iowa State, and it was really helpful for me to be in an environment where I could see others work and learn from them. Although there was a somewhat steep learning curve for me to prioritize my time and get my projects done well, I started to develop my own style and figure out what kind of work I'd be passionate about making. As a way of explaining things, Art just makes sense to me compared to math or science. Even though I enjoy those two, art just seems the best way for me to express emotion and visual ideas. Learning how to sketch quickly to convey the ideas I had was very helpful for me, though I still sometimes have to remind myself that sketches are meant to be ideas on paper and not mini masterpieces. Another skill that I learned quickly was how to resolve ideas that I had deemed failures. My existing artistic abilities were tested, and I had to confront the gap between talent and effort. College was when I started making multiple art projects regularly, and I needed to find motivation when I wasn't always creating on my own terms. Something that was very helpful for me was trying to find fun in my work, especially when I was frustrated with my progress or disappointed in how it was working out. I began making time for personal art projects in addition to the ones I was assigned in class. The image on the left is a doodle I drew of a person laying on my wooden couch I made, and on the right are a couple of the valentines that I made for my friend's sophomore year. I found that when I started to have fun with my work within the parameters of projects that I was assigned, I was much more motivated to finish work and I enjoyed the process a lot more. Though not always possible, I love to include humor in my art when I can. For this project, I found the artist Wayne White who will buy landscape paintings and put a funny saying on top of them. 
His pieces inspired me to make my own with one of my catchphrases at the time. In each of my studio classes that I took, documentation and sketching were emphasized as one of, if not the most important phase of art making. I began taking pictures of subjects that inspired me, regardless of if it was for a project or not. What started as a method of remembering things that I thought were cool turned into one of the reasons why I make art. Another important skill I learned was the value of experimentation. I tend to be the kind of person who's nervous to try new things in case I mess up or they don't go as planned. But I've tried so many media and styles in school that didn't always go exactly as expected, but ended up introducing me to new ways of creating, which I think is the ultimate goal. Going home, the piece on the left, was the first time I ever tried embroidery, but I enjoyed it so much that it inspired me to use embroidery in a later project, pictured on the right. In the fundamentals painting class, we learned another helpful tool, which was finding an artist who you felt had mastered their craft and making a copy of one of their pieces. For this project here, we created the copy as well as a second piece that attempted to emulate the original artist's style, or our interpretation of it. I think it's important to note that while copying other work is a good learning strategy, it's equally important to develop your own style. The next semester, in my watercolor class, we completed another master study, though this time we found more than one artist and copied their styles in different sections of one painting. This piece challenged me in many ways, and I learned a lot of patience in using watercolor since you have to let it have a little freedom. My printmaking class junior year introduced me to the world of using art as a method of communicating issues that I was passionate about. Each project we completed, we did three in the semester, we had to choose a topic that we felt strongly about and make an art piece that would convey that message to our audience. With this piece, I'm pointing out the irony of thank you bags, since plastic is one of the biggest pollutants on earth. The end of junior year was when the COVID pandemic began, So my classes were suddenly changed to an online format that made it much more difficult to focus, motivate myself, and feel connected to my peers. These changes affected how I completed my painting project in Painting 3, as I was expressing my disappointment and uncertainty for the future. The summer studio I signed up for last summer was an altered format as well. The class was smaller than expected, and we could only meet in groups outside so that we could social distance. Thankfully, The nice weather allowed for us to practice observational drawing, and I got to try new materials in an environment that felt less pressured since it was so different from normal. To reflect on the classes I've taken here and how much I've grown as a student and as an artist makes me proud to see how far I've come. I've added more skills to my list and learned what inspires me and how to express that to my audience. Although my college career is ending in weird, uncertain times, I'm grateful for how much I got to create while I was here, and I feel confident that my art journey is just beginning. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something new about me today. Here are my platforms if you would like to contact me.